in 2012, I started having some heart palpitations while I was running on the treadmill. For the next nine years, uh, I was in and out of the emergency room from having a heart attack, having a, a TIA, and still not having a doctor to know these signs and to know something is going on and more questions should be asked or more tests should be done and none of that was done. You know, to have a clear diagnosis and, and going so long without having that. You know, just just being a mystery and kind of blaming myself. And it took a stroke and near death to find that. It was very scary. And I just felt like the, the healthcare system had failed me. What a horrific story. The reality is that we all know someone who's gone through the same thing. Cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of death and disability in the world. Shockingly, 80% of premature heart disease and strokes are preventable. I want to talk about and get people talking about cardiovascular disease. So in this episode, I'm talking to Professor Koch Ray, Professor of Public Health at Imperial College London, who's going to talk to us about potential approaches in tackling heart disease at scale. As a young doctor managing patients, what I was struck by is how many patients came in with heart attacks and they were so sick and we didn't have anything like the type of treatments that we have available now. And there was one patient had a cardiac arrest and that was my first ever cardiac arrest as a junior doctor. And trying to bring that patient back and then watching that patient slowly pass away through complications, that left a really important imprint in my life. And then from a personal point of view, my grandmother, all of a sudden, no symptoms, chest pain, sudden cardiac death. So those kind of events really struck me, made me really determined to not just learn about cardiovascular disease, but to work on preventing its catastrophic consequences for both families and patients. So hello, Coach. It's so great to have you with us here today. Why is cardiovascular disease still such a challenge? The problem with cardiovascular disease is that it's silent for much of people's lives until it presents with a catastrophic consequence. We focus on treating disease instead of preserving health. And I think those are two fundamental concepts in healthcare we've got to change we have to basically move to a population health approach because if we don't, then what will happen is we're just putting a Band-Aid on a sore instead of actually treating the underlying causes of this. We have to be able to enable that in the primary care setting where the vast majority of patients are. Absolutely, I mean, you, if you look at, for example, the vaccine rollout for uh, COVID, where was that delivered? Okay, some of it was in hospitals, but primary care, GPs are in the community. That's where the population resides. That's where the population goes for day-to-day -day queries. They don't go to hospitals. They don't go to those specialist clinics. You can't scale population health. It's got to be in the community, in primary care, using multiple different tools, scaling up knowledge, being able to easily implement complex things, but also making sure patients engage with primary care. How do we start to, to bring those pieces together so that we can actually have a much more significant impact on cardiovascular disease treatment? We have to redesign something. This is a bit like you want to redesign the airplane, but you're gonna to have to do it while it's still flying. You don't have the luxury of grounding it. And there's no one system or solution that's gonna fit all or each healthcare situation around the world. We want a long-term strategy, not a short-term strategy. We've got to think about this in a completely different way, top-down and bottom-up. What's your advice um, you know, to different stakeholders who need to come together to really sort of make this a reality? Investing long-term, and that, that means there has to be at a governmental level, at a policy maker level, 
we need to acknowledge this is a problem and therefore there has to be funding available to help. The unit of interaction that ultimately you want to improve is the patient and the physician because those are the two people that are going to be in dialogue. But you then want to be able to scale that up as efficiently as possible, standardize that interaction, and we don't spend enough time on that. Coach, thanks so much. If you were to leave our audience with one message, what would that message be? Work with other people, think big, think long term, and working together in a multidisciplinary team is really going to be the way forward. We've got big challenges, but together we can do it. Everyone should be educated on heart disease. Everybody should know the symptoms. You should be able to comfortably go to your doctor and talk to him about your concerns. Legislation needs to be involved. You know, public policy is so important. Uh, we need to make sure that everyone is held accountable when it comes to our health. And to know that there are people walking around undiagnosed is scary. Because we know weight causes hypertension, diabetes, all these different things that they don't talk to you about. I do believe that there should be, just like you get your mammogram every year, you know, I now get my LDLs checked every six months. I go to my cardiologist every six months and they ask me, has anything changed? I'm not ashamed that this happened to me. I'm not ashamed that I didn't get it right or I didn't hold myself accountable or I wasn't proactive. But I'm showing you what got me to be proactive. I'm showing you how I got there. I'm showing how you now can ask the right questions and you are the CEO of your life. We need to rethink the way that we are looking at cardiovascular disease. When we talk about population health, that means we are going to have to get creative. We're gonna to have to think about policy. We're gonna to have to think about different approaches and how we bring these patients into the system, how we create the right care pathways. How are we more easily identifying patients so that we can get ahead of the problem? It is really taking a radically different approach and using all of the stakeholders out there to ensure that we're aligned behind one objective to prevent any more of these devastating stories from happening.